Hello and welcome to the PCM Tech Help Show. I am your host, your gracious host, Craig Chamberlain. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about uh, a motherboard that's Windows 8 ready. <gasps> a motherboard. Uh, we're going to be unboxing one. Uh, but uh, let me do my shameless plug here. If you go to my website, PCMTechHelp.com, I have tons of free downloads. I got free videos. I got free help, free support. You can become a techie. It's free. Everything's free. Thank you, Google, for inspiring me to do everything for free for freeing me to do everything for free. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. This is a Asus P8B75V motherboard. Look at all these fancy certifications all over the place on this bad boy. Look at that. I don't even know how I can cover all this in eight minutes or five minutes. So let me uh, do the specs first. This is the Asus P8B75-V LGA1155, it's your socket type, Intel B75, serial ATA, 6 gigabytes per second, USB 3.0 ATX Intel motherboard. Now I purchased this unit from Newegg.com because I'm a huge Newegg fanboy and it only cost me $100. This is not your top of the line hardcore gamer motherboard, this is your mid-grade solid computer system motherboard. This is, this is something I would build for the average to semi-power user, okay? This isn't a, a hardcore gamer board. This is just uh, for the majority of people who are doing stuff, okay? So let's go over some features here. I don't know if you can see these. Energy saving. Uh, U, uh, USB 3.0 boost support. Uh, network eye control. Easy and flexible. Graphics upgrade, which we're going to be installing our own separate graphics because to be honest with you, I don't like to use stock graphics on a motherboard ever. I hate integrated graphics. I hate them with a passion, okay? If you're buying, if you're building a computer system or buying a laptop, avoid integrated graphics at all costs unless you do absolutely zero gaming. But even then, so much hardware and software is so not so hardware, but so much software is becoming graphics intensive, and it's utilizing graphical resources that your bottom line integrated graphics aren't going to last very long at all. It kills the resale ability of whatever machine you're buying. Okay, that's I'm serious about that. We have uh, the AMD Crossfire X technology is supported. Supports Intel Small Business Advantage. Um, LGA 1155, Intel Core inside supports. That's what we're going to be installing on it. Uh, it's got the B75 chipset, Windows 8 ready, which just means that the, the drivers are available. Uh, the network drivers and things like that will work with Windows 8 operating system. And it also has Intel technology such as Rapid Start and Smart Connect. Um, this is kind of like a... It's, it's really kind of a selling utility more than anything else. The more important stuff is actually on the back. Okay, if we go to the back here real quick, we can do right here. This is probably the most important part. We want to cover the basic specification. I'm trying to get the glare out of here for you guys. You got a DVI output, which is your integrated graphics. You have a standard uh, RGB output, which is for your integrated graphics. You got your USB 3.0 ports, which are two of them. You have your local area network ports. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's go over this stuff when we actually open it up. I was just thinking about that while I was reading it. So, opening up this box is easy. You just flip it open, and you got your own little side flippy thingy here, which should hold all your cables. Yep, there they are. Here is two serial ATA cables that come with your motherboard, okay? Now, let's actually take a look at the board itself, because other than the serial ATA cables, it probably only comes with a manual. Ah! comes with a manual and a disc. So that's it, that's all that's in the box. So let's put the box to the side right now. And we have over here your manual, which these are incredibly well done now. Um, I've bought a lot of Asus motherboards. Actually, they're kind of one of my big, my favorite boards to buy. Um, I've just bought them, I'm, I'm, I'm used to them. It doesn't mean the other manufacturers are bad. I buy everything on review, but I'm used to the firmware, I'm used to setting them up, I'm used to the, the setup that their boards typically take. So that's why I usually go with these boards. Um, it comes with a disc, which will have all your drivers and everything in it, but ooh, ooh, wait, I always make a big deal out of these. Boom. You know I love that. What is that? What is that? You know what that is. Boom. It's a sticker for your case. God, I love them. If, 
if a motherboard doesn't give me a sticker for the case, they're embarrassed to have their motherboard in my system. Think about it. Anyways, here's your manual. Very comprehensive. Covers just about everything that's inside of the unit. So it's a very good thing to, to have. Don't lose it. <laughs> if you have to ever get support on your machine, your IT guy will love you if you have that with you. Okay, so now I'm going to break a couple rules here. Um, I'm going to touch some metal and ground myself. And uh, But if you're handling a motherboard, you should really have a static wrist strap. But uh, I'm not going to I'm not gonna handle it very long. I'm going to make sure I'm holding it with the static bag so we don't have any real issues here. Now here is your actual motherboard. Okay. Now I'm going to hold that on there for a little bit so that we can actually discuss what's here. Okay. We have all kinds of ports here. Very important. Very important. Here's your graphics card PCI Express port. Okay, these are PCI ports. This one I'm not actually sure of. I'm gonna have to look at that one. That's your GPU GPU boost port. Okay, probably won't use that to be honest with you. Um, you got your standard connectors here, which we'll go over, you'll go over those in the manual. To be honest with you, that's just for your standard connections. Your motherboard's gonna, your processor's gonna go on here, and and more importantly, let's take a look at the actual ports here. You have. Here is your keyboard. I love motherboards that still have standard keyboard ports, okay? And I'm looking at my screen so I can see what you're looking at. Here's your DVI connector, and you also have a built-in VGA connector. For those of you who can't afford a graphics card up front, you can use integrated graphics temporarily on this board until you get your, you know, get the money up for your graphics card. Uh, here you have standard USB 2.0 ports, and here's your USB 3.0 ports. Here's a couple more, looks like USB 2.0s. Let me look at that a little closer. Yeah, so you got four USB 2.0s total, and here's a network port for your internet. Uh, and here's your standard audio. I'm actually a fan with integrated audio. I'm totally fine with that. And uh, other than that, you have your memory slots. Now, I don't know if you guys knew this about memory, but when you install memory, hang on, I'm trying not to get too staticky here. When you install memory in these slots here, see these? These slots right here? These are color coded. Now you want to choose the coat, the color. First of all, you want if you're installing two sticks of memory that are identical units, you install them in the same color, okay? And you always start with the slot closest to the physically closest to the processor, okay? Something not everybody knows, but it's good to know. Um, here's a cool little. This is their cool little bridge here. It says Asus. Check it out, shiny. Oh, that's awesome. You know you want one. And there it is. Okay. The PCI Express slot on here is a PCI Express 3.0. Oh, wait. No, here. You got your... Here's physically the location of your serial ATA. I know that's important because a lot of you who are buying a motherboard, sometimes it's frustrating because you don't know the physical location of these ports before you install it. But uh, this is where those are located, for those of you who are curious. So that is the AC, ASUS P8B75-V motherboard. It is a mid-grade, like I said, not top of the line, but it's it's pretty much an all-encompassing system board. A good-looking board. Uh, I'm sure I'll love it. I'll get everything set up here, and I might walk you guys through the setup. I haven't fully committed to that yet, so don't quote me on it. And uh, that's all there is to this video. So as always, thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to leave comments and ratings. You can follow me on all the major social networks, such as Facebook, Twitter, YouTube. Google Plus. Eventually, I'll remember all of them. And if you swing by the website at PCMTechHelp.com, on the right-hand sidebar, I have all of those social networks right available. You can easily click and join them. You can also go to the free download section right at the top. Tons of free downloads. You can go to the community section, become a PCM Techie, and you can just ask questions anytime, and I'll be more than happy to answer them for you. So thanks for stopping by and thank you for your time. I really do appreciate you guys taking the time to watch these videos. I'm glad, I'm, I'm hoping you get something out of them other than just me being a goof. And uh, stay tuned because I'm not going to stop anytime soon.